your children, Charles. And we would have had them. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be getting into a hair video. I really wanted to show you all how I pretty much care for my hair now that it is a bit lighter. So one of the main things that we are going to use in this video is a purple shampoo and conditioner. Today I'm using the Bust Your Brass collection from Amika. This is the uh, Cool Blonde Shampoo. And then I'm going to follow it up with the conditioner. This is the Cool Blonde Conditioner. So I'm going to start off with the shampoo. My hair is already wet down. I did it in the shower. So I'm just going to pour some of that shampoo into my hand so you guys can see what that looks like. And this is a really deep purple shampoo. So that's what it looks like. So now I'm just going to rub that in my hands. This is what we look like. And now I'm just going to start at the front. I'm going to do the back. And then I'm going to begin working that on the remainder of my hair. And I can hear like the lather and everything like that. It really doesn't bother me just as long as it's working. So I'm just going to begin pulling that through the hair just to make sure that everything is saturated and it will begin toning the hair as it works. All right, y'all, so we are back. And this is what my hair looks like after the shampoo application. I do feel like... It doesn't feel bad, but it definitely needs a little bit of moisture put back in. And I feel like the color does look a little better. So now we are just going to finish up using the, um, the Cool Blonde Conditioner. I'm going to squeeze it out into my hand. It has the same fragrance. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to emulsify that. This is what we're looking like. I'm just going to begin applying that to the hair. I'm just going to take a little more conditioner, apply that there, part it right down the middle, and just begin working that through. All right, so now that I've worked that through, I am going to just massage it in a little bit more. I'm going to rinse this out, and then we'll be back to deep condition all right y'all so we've rinsed out that conditioner my hair definitely feels a little better and one thing i know ooh, the water is running one thing i noticed um is that when i applied a little bit of water the conditioner definitely moved around a little bit better so that's one thing you want to keep in mind when using the um bust your brass cool blonde conditioner if you can use the products in the shower i think that would be best because adding a little bit of water as you go is definitely going to help work the product around a little better so now to um, actually deep condition my hair, I am going to use the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. Oh, that smells good. That's what the mask looks like. It's very thick, which I love in a mask because I want to make sure that it is going to um, really hydrate and nourish the hair. So I'm just going to wipe that off the cap. I'm just going to take a little more product out of that jar as well. This is how much product we're going to go in with. I'm going to emulsify that in my hands and I'm going to begin applying that to the ends of the hair, which is where we need it the most. I'm going to begin detangling my hair, which is what I normally do when I have my deep conditioner in. So I'm going to take my tangle teaser and I love the tangle teaser because it has like the long and short teeth, which help for like really gliding through the hair without breaking or snagging the hair. And the design, it really just fits right into the palm and it's like, in my opinion, one of the best tools to detangle with. So I'm just going to go in and just begin detangling. Alright, so now that we are all detangled, I'm just going to let this sit for about five minutes and then I am going to rinse this out and then we'll begin styling. Alright, so this is after my final rinse of the mask. I think my hair feels a little better than when I apply like the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I'm still able to like run my fingers through my hair, which is a good thing, of course, after deep conditioning and detangling. So, I mean, that's a plus there. But other than that, I mean, it feels okay. It's like, I'm not, I'm not super blown away or taken away with that mask. Um, it's not really a big deal. Maybe I need to use it a couple more times and then maybe I'll feel differently. But for right now, it's like, it's like, okay, it's cool. 
So now I'm just going to do the styling portion of um, this video. I'm going to use the Curl Core Collection. Um, I'm going to use the Defining Cream, also from Amika. And then I'm going to follow up using the Enhancing Gel. So that's what the cream looks like. So I'm just going to apply that all over as I normally would do. I'm almost going to treat this like I would do like my leave-in conditioner for the most part before I apply my gel styler for hold. And I always like to get up under here and just make sure like my hairline is covered as well. Hairline and my little curly cues by my ears. Just to make sure everybody is good to go. I like to push most of my bang area to the front because this is how I get my hair to stand up in that style that I'm currently wearing it in which is what I guess I'm most comfortable with wearing how I'm co most comfortable wearing it at the moment while it is growing out until I'm able to until I feel comfortable enough to do like a middle part or a side part again so now I'm gonna go in with the enhancing gel this is like a very liquidy gel you can kind of see like ooh, there it goes what I like about gels like this is like they're able to spread very easily. You don't need a lot, of course, because like I said, they have like a liquid like consistency. So they're able to move around a lot more effectively for the most part without needing a ton of product. But I am going to apply a lot only because I really like to um, see how the hair is going to hold up. And I do tend to diffuse my hair and I really want to make sure that it's going to hold up during the diffusing process as well but once it is fully dried i want to make sure that the style is going to last for a couple of days at least it's looking on hey, so far and i always feel like this is one of the most important parts of the styling itself because i feel like if it doesn't look right during this actual process now then i feel like it's just going to um dry weirdly if that makes sense so i did apply a little more gel and I'm just going to scrunch that into the ends of my hair because like I said, I want to make sure this is going to last a few days. I'm going to get up under there. I'm going to make sure that we part over here as well just to make sure that this is covered. So I'm just going to rake that through just to make sure that everything is pampin' and nice and juicy. Alright. So I'm going to rake that through. And I, can, I definitely know that I have like a ton of gel in here. I can feel it. So I'm just going to finish up and just scrunch that in. And I find that scrunching really just helps to make sure that everything is covered. And it really helps to um, enhance um, curl definition. So a very important part of my styling process for real, for real. Alright y'all, so I did allow my hair to air dry just a little bit and I'm just going to show you how I like to use my um, blow dryer and diffuser. This is actually a new blow dryer from Conair. I attended an event with Conair and I was able to get mine customized. It does have like my name on it up here and an infinity symbol as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a newer dryer so I'm just going to show you guys quickly how I like to diffuse my hair. welcome back <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just like really giggly right now um, but welcome back I am now going to show you pretty much how I like to style my hair after everything has dried this is what my hair looks like after drying overnight you always want to make sure that your hair is 100% dry I kid you not it's the best way to do it and I feel like your wash and go tends to look the best when you do that so now my hair is fully dried. I'm just going to loosen it up just a little bit with my fingers just to start lightly reshaping things. 
my hair still feels really good I'm noticing a little bit of flaking so I'm hoping that it's not super flaky so now that it's loosened just a little bit what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my Mazzani oil and I'm just gonna take a couple of pumps and I'm just gonna rub that through my hands and I'm just gonna scrunch this into the hair and this is going to help break up any like of that cast and also add like a little shine. Now I'm just going to like fluff it a little bit more this way. So what I like to do now is I like to just loosen the top a little more with my fingers. And this is where I will go in with my pick and create the shape that I normally like to create. But first, I'm going to start off at the back and the bottom. And just really get in there to loosen things up. Alright, so I had to move back again. Just because I really want you guys to get all of this in full frame. That is how I like to style my signature wash and go. We have the height that we like, volume, definition, all of the good things. Um, and this will last me with proper care about three or four days or so. And by then it'll start getting frizzy and bigger, which is perfectly fine to me. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey.